Welcome back viewers. In today's lecture we are going to learn about assembling and running an 8051 program. First of all, uh, I have previously discussed about the assembly languages and the complete uh, outline of the assembly language. So I will put the link in the description. You should go and check out there. In 8051 uh, for assembly language there are particular steps. The first step is that uh, uh, first we need an editor uh, the editor is uh, uh, used for to type the program uh, there are many excellent uh, word editors uh, or also called as word processors uh, they can be used to create and edit programs uh, for this step uh, you uh, you will know that or uh, notice that the editor must be able to produce the ASCII file this is a particular extension type file uh, which is required for 8051 programming for many assemblers the file name follow the usual dos conventions the usual dos conventions are uh, used by the many assemblers well, such that uh, we also have source file extensions like asm and src but it depends on the assembly uh, a particular person or a particular user is using the next step is the asm or the source file containing the program code it means that asm is a particular file which contains the source or uh, the source of the code for this uh, in uh, assembler of 8051 the assembler converts the instruction into machine code in this step and then the assembler will produce a uh, object file and another list file similarly uh, the extension for the object file will be obj and the extension uh, for the list file will be lst and in third step the assembler will require the third step is called as linking the linking program takes uh, one or more code files in this we have uh, let's consider one obj file uh, and uh, the next uh, file with the obj uh, extension so it it can link those two files together and generates a new abs extension file here you can see the new file will be extension with will have extension abs basically the abs file is used for uh, 8051 trainers that have monitor program the uh, last step is that the abs file is uh, fed into a program called uh, object to exa converter basically it converts the ob uh, this file the abs file into exa file the ex uh, with the extension hex the exa file is part uh, particularly compatible with 8051 uh, in this uh, the program comes with all 8051 assemblers and uh, most of the recent uh, windows based assembler also uh, combine step 2 which I discussed previously and step 4 into one step here you can see that uh, this is the uh, flow diagram for the four steps first of all there will be a particular editor where uh, a user will edit our program and then uh, let's consider the uh, output of this uh, file is named as my file the, so the output will be as a asm extension file and then the asm file will go to the assembler and the assembler will generate two extension uh, two different files one will be list file and one will be object file the list file with uh, will have extension lst and the uh, next object file will have obj extension now the next uh, the, or the third step is a linker program here uh, two object files will be combined and a new file will be generated with which will be having extension abs and this abs file will go to the object to exa converter program 
and at final we will have a particular exa file uh, let's consider here it is my file dot hex which will have a particular hex extension so this exa file will be compatible to the 8051 program thanks for watching subscribe my channel for further new updates